Hey everybody, it's Eric. Time for our video conversation. I hope everyone had a wonderful Labor Day weekend. School started, State Fair has ended, uh, and of course, uh, I want to also thank everyone who took the time to come out at my Congress on Your Corner event in Minnetonka. I had a great time talking about a variety of issues with the constituents from all over and residents in the area on health care, Social Security, taxes, and a few other issues. So thank you for that. Let's jump into our questions. Actually, the first is an email. Uh, received from Nicole and Rogers. And Nicole writes in, Dear Representative Paulson, amidst report of the impending ending of the DACA program, which grants protection from deportation for ch from children brought to the United States when they were very young, I find it incumbent to write and urge you and the Congress to protect these people from deportation. I am a young adult working very hard to build a career and family and contribute to society, and I cannot imagine facing the threat of forced removal to a country I do not know after working so hard to contribute to this country, as many of my peers are facing with the ending of DACA. I know several people in this situation, as many people my age do, and we are incredibly concerned for our friends. Please stand up for the people who, through no fault of their own, are facing forced removal from this country by protecting the DACA program. Uh, sincerely, Nicole. Nicole, thank you. You encapsulated that very, very well. I am a believer, with the President putting this in front of Congress, that it is important for a legislative fix to happen, a permanent fix. I'm an advocate for making sure that these folks who are in, uh, in the United States through no fault of their own, they came here when they were young, they're essentially Americans, that they have a process where they're going to school, they're in the military, they're employed, uh, and they're able to permanently be here with legal status. And I'm hopeful that we'll now have the left and the right put aside differences and we can work in a thoughtful way in joining this with some border security initiatives and other visa modifications that all of us support uh, that would enhance our security uh, and protect these individuals is a big part of labor uh, that we have in Minnesota and the United States. Next up is an email from Sonia in Maple Plain who called, actually uh, she called in with a phone call asking, as a constituent I urge you to demand congressional leadership and Congress to reconvene an emergency session immediately to take action for the victims of Hurricane Harvey. Many thousands of people now need emergency assistance, such as housing in areas that are devastated by this hurricane. Thanks, Sonia. Actually, Sonia, thank you for sharing that. As we know, Hurricane uh, Harvey devastated parts of Texas, Louisiana. Literally, they had an eight-year rainfall period happen within a few days, uh, which has been demoralizing and destructive for so many small businesses, homeowners, uh, and a great portion uh, of impact uh, on the economic economy of our country as well. The good news is, right upon convening for session this week, uh, when Congress came back, the House took its first action to provide relief for FEMA, emergency assistance, and also the Senate took action following up on that, and the bill is now on its way for signature to the president to replenish those efforts to make sure these people can get back on their feet again. The generosity that so many Americans and Minnesotans in particular have given to those areas of devastation and travesty uh, has been heartwarming and actually very inspiring. Uh, and that, sir, I think those services are going to continue to be needed and happen as Hurricane Irma approaches the coast now in Florida. I want to thank everyone that took the time to share your thoughts, your questions, your ideas. Continue to reach out anytime on Facebook, Twitter, on Instagram. And of course, you can reach me anytime at the website at paulson.house.gov. Have a great weekend and a great week.